It seems we all by ourselves. God will make a way. Now, 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 we don't always agree with the way that God makes it. Sometimes we say, oh, God, how could you do that? Well, let me tell you what God did. Let me tell you how God works. God allowed David to call the assembly of all the people. And we find out in Samuel that what happened with David was when God put out the word, the people who trusted God and knew God and knew that the king was down, all those people gathered out in the wilderness with David. And, and from those people, David began to pick his soldiers. The word tells us he selected 400. But out of that 400, he had two special groups. One group was 30. See, a lot of folk think we need to have 200, 300, 500 folk at this meeting. With 30 folk, David scared everybody nearby. With 30 folk, David had people shaking. David had something called the Mighty 30, his mighty men. And everybody was scared to challenge those mighty men, those thugs. But in the group of the mighty men, he also had three. And these three brothers were the kind of brothers you want to have when you get in trouble. Now, I don't know about y'all, but every time I, I go out, I try to find some folk that got my back, mm -hmm. some folk that can help me if I get into it. You know, you know, some of us run our mouths. Mm -hmm. Any mouth runners? Oh, yeah. Some of us talk a lot of junk. Any junk talkers? Some of us, some of us that go there, we ain't scared of nobody. Ain't nobody going to scare us. Ain't nobody going to turn us around. Ain't nobody going to turn us down. I, 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 do I have a witness? But you know, when you like that, you got to be smart about it. You don't go by yourself. You don't start running your mouth in front of a lot of folk and you ain't got no backup. But David always kept these three with them. Look at these brothers. Just all. The word says this brother took on 800 folk one day, killed them all. Elazar. This brother, this brother, this brother, bad brother. Went out into battle, the whole army turned and walked away. Hello, somebody. You are going to go through things in your life where you think you got everybody with you. And as soon as you get out in the middle of it, and you start protesting, and you start fighting, and you start saying we're not going to do it that way, you will look around sometime, and the folk you think you got with you have turned and run away. But let me tell you about God. When God got his hand on you, when God is using you, when God know that you are the one, God won't leave you without power. And even if everybody leaves you and everybody else runs away, when you got the power of God, you can stand strong. The word says he stood strong, fought those on his right, fought those on his left, fought back and forth. And when they got back, because let me tell you, the folk will come back. But when they got back, guess what? The battle was already won. All they had to do was clean up. These are the type of people that God put in the presence of David. And you need to understand that the same God that put thugs in David's life, the same God that put protection in David's life, the same God that put people that were willing to stand up, that same God is still in control. God is still producing thugs. God is still producing folk that can stand up and be real. The problem with it is, is we've got thugs and gangsters confused. And a lot of us think if we talk and we say we gangsters because we got a gun or a knife or something we can fight with, then that's what God wants. That's not what God wants. God wants folk that stand on his power, with his power, with his intention. Yeah. That's what God wants. God wants folk that can stand up tall and say, God can use me. A different kind of dog. God is calling you to be a different kind. Let me tell you about some thugs I know. I know. I know some thugs. I know some thugs that walk into Fortune 500 companies. And when the table is set and they begin to discuss things like drugs and health care for Africa, those thugs who graduated at the top of their class, who have business degrees out, out the yin yang, those thugs who have PhD in marketing and PhDs in, 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 in mathematics and, and business, those thugs who are pharmaceutical giants, 
when they start talking about it, they say, well, how much should we charge the dying Africans for these medicines? Those thugs sit up at the table and say, how about charging them nothing since our profits from last year were in the quadrillions? How, how about not charging the sick Africans and giving them the medicine? I know some thugs. I know some thugs that when, when churches start doing the wrong thing and annual conferences go the wrong way, they stand up on the conference floor and they say the devil is a lie. We know what we need to do. We 